Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Morthral, back with another hardcore Let's Play. Uh, we're here on a new character this time, on a, a gnome mage. I uh, decided to switch it up after the unfortunate uh, time on the orc hunter. I figure if I'm playing an alliance character, I'll at least last a little bit longer, so it should be a bit more entertaining. And I actually know where I'm going, so the pace of things will be a bit better. So we'll, we'll watch the uh, character intro, and then we'll get into it. The eccentric, often brilliant gnomes are held as one of the most peculiar races of the world. With their obsession for developing radical new technologies and constructing marvels of mind-bending engineering, it's a wonder that any gnomes have survived to proliferate. Over the years, the gnomes have contributed ingenious weapons to aid the Grand Alliance in its fierce battles against the Horde. Thriving within the wondrous techno-city of Gnomeregon, the gnomes shared the resources of the forested Dumora Peaks with their dwarven cousins. Yet recently, a barbaric menace rose up from the bowels of the earth and invaded Gnomeregon. Aided by their dwarven allies, the gnomes fought a valiant battle to save their beloved city. Nevertheless, Gnomeregon was irrevocably lost. The surviving gnomes fled to the safety of the dwarven stronghold of Ironforge. There they remain, devising strategies to retake their city. As a gnome of proud standing, it falls to you to answer the challenge and lead your curious people to a brighter future. Alrighty. Also, I apologize for the uh, the last two episodes or so. They, uh, I know the mic what didn't sound the greatest. Uh, it should be better now, and it should sound pretty good. It shouldn't sound. Am I don't know if it sounds amazing, but it should sound pretty good. Great to meet you. Okay. How are ya? See you soon. Okay. Let's get the bars set up. And auto loot turned on. I don't know why you always have to turn that off and on in order for it to show. But. We're gonna be a bit smarter about it this time. Uh, for those of you that uh, don't know the rules, um. Basically, if I die, I have to delete my character. Uh, I can't use the auction house or the mail system. Uh, I can't. Uh, I can't trade with other players or ask for buffs or health stones or conjured food or water. But I can conjure my own food or water. Um, I'll have a full list of. <coughs> sorry, I'll have a full list. A full list of the. Uh, all the rules in the description below so you guys can uh, check those out if you're interested so we're definitely going to try and be a lot smarter about uh, our health management actually paying attention and uh, taking breaks as needed And I think, depending on how good of a pace we're able to keep, we will try and go for, uh, maybe try and go for the get t level 10 in two hours, if I'm able to keep a good pace. I think the goal, if you're doing that, is to finish this, uh, the starting area here within uh, half an hour. So I don't know how well that's going to work out, but I guess we'll see. I'm also not sure how many of the uh, other players that we see are doing hardcore stuff as opposed to just playing. It's also an RP server, so there might be people 
strictly here to do RP. There's level two, and we just need one more. So I think it, I think it pops up uh, with our blade every time we uh, every time we level. That's from the the hardcore add-on. So I think we should just get an update every time we level. So we're at four. And you're at about level 5 by the time you finish this area, so when we hit level 5, if we're at about 20, 25 minutes, what I think can I do we'll for be you? at least on track to hit level 10 in time. Off with you. Safe travels. What can I do for you? And then also, if for some reason we can't get that, I also want to try and get this one. I think that's definitely doable at level 10, especially as a mage killing Vagash at level 10, so we're gonna try and get that one. And maybe even go over to Elwyn and go do the Hogger quest. I think maybe we'll try and do that. That would be fun. I mean, go big or go home, right? Might as well try and get some achievements. Hi, how are you? Very well, on then. Your mind. We will have to sell some stuff for sure. Watch your back. Fired, I'm sure. And yeah, okay. All right, you then. So we did have enough, thankfully. And now we have two buffs. Mana pool and chance to crit with spells. And then we've also got some extra armor. And that'll be helpful too to slow enemies that are attacking us when we're trying to run away. And once we get blink too, that'll be helpful. So typically what I like to do is run in there, do my class quest, and then on the way to go hand in the mail to the boar guy, um, there's a quest for those of you who don't know, there's a quest just to kill boars up ahead. That's where we hand this in. And basically that'll, uh, before I do that quest, I typically stop here and knock off the early rock jaw trogs. And then you'll see that we have to go back, um, we have to go back there anyways for a quest later. And on the way back we'll grab the regular rock jaw trogs. <laughs> The regular ones do occasionally spawn out this way, so yeah, there's one here. Might as well grab it now. But typically, you'll only see the burly ones. See, I'm getting, uh, I'm, we're getting kind of lucky. There's some out here. So I think we'll just melee this one down, still get a kill, and let our uh, our mana regen because we only have the one water as of right now. And we're probably going to end up wanting to use that on the way through the cave over here. Uh, just either when we're clearing or when we get to the, the boss mob of the area and we're ready to kill him. I guess why don't we join one how are you so it seems there are people doing oh, heroic yeah. that aren't naming their character HC at the end a fight? Which is fair enough, it's not like it's required. <laughs> if we get the guild invite, we'll, uh, we'll join. 
but if not, it's okay. Nice damage on the main. I've done this not too long ago on a, uh, well, at least this area, because it hasn't changed basically since vanilla. There's slight differences in the quests, but, and you get a different starting zone if you make a gnome. But if you make uh, a dwarf, this starting zone is basically identical still in retail. And, yeah. I was, I'm killing mobs as quick as I was in, in retail, which is kind of interesting. And there's our, uh, a level three. Nine minutes in. <laughs> this quest here tends to be what slows you down the most. It's good experience, obviously it's tw 12 kills worth, plus the hand in, so it's definitely worth it, but definitely what slows you down the most in the starter zone. Being a little loose with my mana. That's the other thing, getting used to the auto loot from, uh, auto loot, the, uh, the area loot from retail. Still something that I gotta get used to. I find myself doing that quite a bit. Skipping over the, uh, the other mobs, I mean. I guess I'll pop it into general once more as well. so I don't want to be too pushy with it, but we have enough mana to completely mow down the boar, so... <laughs> Keep an eye out for any regular rock shot trogs in the area. Because the more we kill now just saves us time later when we're running back. Because it is a little bit out of the way. Okay. We're all finished with the boars. You got my attention. Be good. Regular one right here. <laughs> and another water. Nice. Okay. So I don't, I'm not seeing another regular one. So we'll probably have to finish up the rest. Yeah. Finish up the rest down there, but it's not a huge deal. What's on your mind? Save them. See you soon. So, Hi. I figured I would be four at this point because you got my okay. attention. So what we'll do? Is 
normally at this point I'd be level 4. But I also got lucky with the wolves, I think. Because normally, because I'm pretty, the wolves was a drop quest, right, for me, and normally I don't get all of them right away. Normally it takes a few extra kills, so that's definitely some experience that I'm missing. Um, these are all wiped out, so... Oof, this isn't good for our time. I think what we'll do... Come here and clear some of these I out. Need to yeah. something first. Ooh, resist. You guys will see why in a second, why I decided to stick it out a little bit longer. I do have my reasoning. One more tick. Okay, perfect. Now we can at least get three off. I'll start running this way. Oh no, he's frozen, so, or chilled at least. I guess he's here looking for PvP enabled people to fight them. What's on your mind? But I'm not interested. <laughs> Actually, and since we got the trogs out of the way already, we don't have to run that way. We can go straight here. But yeah, this is the quest I was talking about. Because um, there's a quest in the bunker area where the trainers are and basically is to pick up some objects that are surrounded by trolls, so I didn't want to sit there and kill all the trolls, because we're going to have to kill a bunch anyways. Uh, so yeah, good we got that out of the way. Um, we're level 4 now at 16 minutes, so we're still not, we're, we're making pretty decent time. It's not the end of the world that we don't get to the achievement, because I'm not racing for it, that's not the, well, I am racing for it, but that's not the main purpose of this. So if I don't happen to get it, it's, it's oh well. I do want to do, just for, I do want to do, but for, um, just for difficulty reasons and just to make it more interesting, uh, at level 10, I want to go do Vagash, and at level 11, go do Hogger, so I can get both of those Can I help you? Off in the way! Well met! Repair and sell. We keep some food, but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to conjure food and water very soon, so... I have the finest wares in the not line. too worried. Safe travel. So yeah, th there's our conjure water. Um, no! Safe travel. We should get conjure food soon. I'm not 100% sure though. But yeah, so the, we got to bring back the mug quest and Felix's quandary. Or refugee's quandary. Yeah, so we'll, we'll hand in the mug and then go do, go do um, refugee's quandary. And while we're picking up the items, we'll, be, we'll have to kill trolls to get to it anyways. So we can finish off most of that. We'll kill extra so that by the time we're finished, we're not... 
Actually, what we'll do is we'll run to the furthest camp down there and then work our way down along the mountain line. And then if we need to kill extra to finish off the quest, there's more in the general area of the que of the cave than there is down here. Might as well hand this in actually while we're here. Great to meet you. Off with you. Yeah, the farthest camp is down around there. I guess while we're not fighting and we'll get a chance to regen, we might as well rebuff now. Probably should have done that earlier, but... I didn't know if he was going to go for that or not, so I just wanted to grab it. Just in case. I'm not sure on the respawn times on that. Pick up this guy here, and then we'll move down to the next camp and grab the next item. Give our mana a chance to regen. And I, uh, I think I've decided the plan. There's a, I think there's a chest over there. I think I've decided the plan for what to do after this. Um, I am at least confident that this will last longer than the the orc. <laughs> I don't want to jinx myself, so knock on wood. But um, I am confident that this will last a bit longer. So what I'd like to do is... I don't think it was an, a chest. I think it was just the item. What I'd like to do is... When I die on this character, maybe take a break from doing hardcore content, because I think this will be a bit longer, like I already said ten times. <laughs> Fun times a bit not being scripted. But anyways, um, and I think afterwards, I'm kind of torn between two things. I'm looking, well I have it all set up already, it's just a matter of what I, if what I do next. But either one of the Pokemon games for um, the Game Boy have that set up and uh, do a Let's Play uh, of probably Leaf Green because that's my childhood favorite. But I might might do something else. I might do Sapphire or well, if I do Sapphire Ruby, I'll just do Emerald since get Rayquaza and I think you can choose between Groudon and Kyogre. But yeah, I think that's what I'm leaning towards for sure. And if not, I have one of the fun up for one of the Fallout games. I, I I feel like I should probably do, if anything, do Fallout 3 first, and then move over to Fallout New Vegas, depending on what the consensus is and you know how I'm liking it. But I've played Fallout 3 not too long ago, and I think it might be better. Just especially for me, and if I'm gonna enjoy it or not, it would be better to do Fallout New Vegas. So I, I think I'm torn between one of those two. But I could end up. Who knows how long this character is gonna go? Um, I want to actually be very particular about it this time and not run into stupid stuff and die, so. I'm hoping that this lasts longer, and m maybe I'll catch the bug, and I will be stuck with it. Because, it, it, I mean, I died, and I thought I was going to not want to bother with it, but I was pleasantly surprised at the fact that I was ready to get right back in and see if I could make it farther.
So we just need two more kills, and this is the last item. So we are... We're doing good. We're not going to run back and hand this in, because there's no real point. Because it's quite the distance just to hand in that quest, and there isn't anything that we get afterwards. So we're better off just killing. A couple of trolls we need. Handing this in and moving on to the last quest of the area. So we'll burn our man out of the sky because we're going to have some time to do that. And we'll get a new staff as well at the end of the next quest. Hi, how are you? Bunch of junk. And yeah, staff. We're not gonna sell it though, we're gonna put it Keep on. Keep your feet on the ground! At least give us a bit better auto attack damage when something gets too close. But that won't be much of an issue soon, because we'll be getting Frostbolt and we'll be getting uh, all the other abilities. I didn't bother training because it just kind of rushed through. Uh, honestly, at this point, the level 1 fireball is probably the best bet anyways. And unfortunately, the cave looks pretty cleared, so I don't think we're going to get much experience out of this. Well, that was easy. Uh, maybe we'll... Yeah. I think we'll kill a couple more just to get some experience. Start making our way out. He seems to be farming some experience in here. Which honestly probably isn't a bad idea. For 52 a pop, these guys go down pretty hard. Oh, he's making his way to that chest. I see. Fair enough. And that guy was nice and didn't steal it from him. I like seeing that. <laughs> I was just going to run, because I know, I've already done it a few times, I know for a fact you can run out and survive it. Level 5 at 28 minutes, so we're doing good time, we're on it, we're perfectly on time to uh, hit the 2 hour mark for level 10. See, especially with the frost armor, it, I... I've done it uh, rec also recently on a warlock, and it was uh, it was a lot easier. Just well, it was just as easy because demon skin, right? So get the extra armor and everything hit for about three each. It was pretty good, and that with the slow just makes thing and makes things. What even can better. I do for you? See you soon. And with that, we are basically done in this zone. Or the nut zone, but starter area. Um, we just gotta go run and hand this in and train. And then we are on our way out of here.
Eh, why not? Need assistance? Be seeing you. Well met. Is that no? That's not an upgrade. Sell through this. Get rid of all that. Be good. Actually, what I should do. That might make more sense. Real quick, conjure up some more water. Good day to you. And. Very oh, good. Did I train and just not pay attention? Yeah, I did. That's uh, that's fun. <laughs> That's when I got conjure water, isn't it? Oh god. Okay. Well, I probably wouldn't have used it much anyways, so it's not the end of the world. Off into Dunmoreau. Now, there are a couple areas like the Sengen Isles that are kind of death zones. The one in particular, uh, I'll point out when we run by, but basically it's, for those of you who haven't quested in the area, it's a cave of, it's a Wendigo cave. And you've got to go in there What's and on your mind? I think it's to get Keep your feet on the ground. like eight, maybe. Eight or ten of the uh, these Wendigo mains. All right, man. And here, let's turn this down a bit more. And yeah. Um, basically, oh, see, this is what I mean, stoner burn strikes again. But basically, um, with the Wendigo cave, it's very tight, there's lots of mobs, you get caught up, uh, very, you can easily end up pulling a bunch of guy, a bunch of mobs at the same time, so, going in there, definitely want to have Frost Nova. And, Preferably blink, depending on what level we. I, th I think we get it at eight. We'll check the trainer real quick. We'll get to uh, Karanos, and then we'll be on our way. Normally I would skip these guys, but because of the population and the lack of uh, kills that we got, it seems like it's probably better to just get a bit more of experience, because normally, normally I'm still level 5, but you can come out a bit about halfway to level 6. So I, I definitely wanted to get some more kills in there. Actually, I think usually it might be a bit more, but this isn't the end of the world either. So the cave is down in this big crevice area here. And I'll point it out once we have a view of it. Right there, yeah, where that rock formation is over here. That's where the cave is. And I have died many times in that cave. So we gotta be very careful. We ended up making it to, what was it, level 8 on more thrall. So hopefully we can do a bit better on a Rimos.
And this might be uh, old news by the time this gets posted because of the way I break up the episodes and everything, but uh, I just wanted to touch on the uh, the situation with Blizzard and uh, in China, all the Chinese players losing their accounts because of what's going on. I I don't have, I don't know specifics, so I won't comment as to what's actually going on. But I will say I feel incredibly sorry for all the players that lost their accounts and all the progress. I can only imagine. I put years and years into mine and spent so much good times in there with friends and family and good friends that I've met through World of Warcraft that I still talk to to this day. So to, to never, and even I've had my periods where I've quit and come back and you know, to find out that that's not even an option anymore. Like I, I could understand how heartbreaking you got that would my be. Attention. See you soon. So yeah, to all the uh, Chinese players, sorry, and hopefully you have My, you're a tall one. another game that maybe you're able to play that does it for you the same way, I don't know. It's hard to say. Doesn't look like we get any of what I said, though, anytime soon. Uh, let's go down to Frost. Frost Nova, at least at 10. You have a great day now. So we're gonna be, we're gonna have to be very, very smart. Watch your back. What's on your mind? Great to meet you. We'll buy back that spring water just to save us time from having to soon. be good. Having to make it. There is a quest in that direction. Here they are. Watch your back. Over there. Uh, some gnomes, but right now it's uh it's not available because of our level, so there's no point in even running over there. We're going to come hand these in. And then... We'll start on the boars and the bears. I know I don't have a quest for it yet, but one of the quests that we're about to get is to uh, get some bear fur. And also... Some other boar meat. Yeah, so chunks of boar meat and thick bear fur, and then we need crag boar ribs. How are ya? Safe travel. And that ammo we have to go get from that cavern, not cavern. I don't even know what to call it that crevice and the, that the lowered section in the earth where I told you where the cave was. <laughs> That's uh, there's some ammo there, and we will have to go grab that and bring it to that little team of dwarves we ran by. It's too far away. Oh, he got the tag on that. So this one's a large. It's higher level, but I also think that they have a higher chance to drop. Just my luck, he resists the frostbolt, but we're able to get the second one off in time. Yeah, that was uh, a little too close for comfort. I think sticking with mobs our own level is the safer bet. They just keep resisting. And the wolf now. Okay. So, we are going to run. And the boar is going to go back, but the wolf should go back too. Okay. 
Yeah, with no blink until level 20, frost armor is basically what we're relying on to keep us alive until level 10 and we get frost nova. Which, honestly, we're probably just going to have to keep for defensive situations. Don't want to be pulling that wolf right now. And that is a level 8 bear, so we're not going to bother. So many icons. So, we have the Wendigo quest too. It says level 7. Um, we're going to be going when we're level 7. We're not going to go over here. We might go after we go to do... Uh, Rumble Shot's ammo. But at the very least, I want to hit level 6. And, uh, train. Before we go there. Hmm. Didn't do much, but... Why not? I don't want to veer too far from the city, but hmm. I guess waiting is probably not the best option, especially if I'm trying to do this quickly, so let's run and try to find something else to kill for now. Also, as of recording right now, they uh, just dropped the 10.0.5 uh, patch for retail. There's uh, some cool new content and stuff. Uh, also, the trading post, which looked really, really cool. For those of you that didn't see that, basically it's... It got compared to a battle pass, but I don't get the comparison because you're not paying extra for it. But essentially what it is is... Every month when you log in, just for having a, um, a subs active subscription, you'll get 500 of this new currency. I think it's called Trader's Tender, something along those lines. Uh, but basically what it is, is uh, you do these, so you get the currency, but then there's also these challenges that you can do each month, and they range from doing dungeons and raids and PvP to just simple stuff, like, you know, going to a certain location and dancing or interacting with a certain NPC. You know, it could be anything, or pet battles, uh, there's all, all kinds of examples. And you get, you can earn up to, I think, an, an additional 500. It might be less or more, but it's, I, no, I, definitely not more, but I think it's up to another 500 that you can earn. And through that, you can go to the trading post, or with that, you can go to the trading post, and you can spend your currency that you've gotten on uh, cosmetic items. So uh, they have uh, ap appearances for items that ended up never getting added into the game. So a lot of scrapped content and stuff like that. Um, new mounts and recolors that were never added. And pets and stuff like that. They've also added the, uh, I think it was the first, um, store mount with the, uh, the spectral steed, or the, the winged one, the, it's the spectral horse that flies. It's pretty cool, so th that'll be in there, and there's also a feature to reserve something going into the following month if maybe you don't have enough currency for something yet, and I thought that was, I thought that was really cool. Definitely a cool feature to go with. So yeah, I think that that's uh, just a cool little thing that they're adding, I, just to make your playing worthwhile. I mean, it's not like it's anything crazy, but at at the very least, it's just an extra cosmetic thing that you'll be able to add to your care your account every month or two. And it's free cosmetics, so you can't really complain about that.
So I'm trying not to stray too far from the town because once we finish this, we're gonna head, we're gonna hand these in and get more in the area. And I'm also close to leveling, so I want to be able to train and get that out of the way, so I don't have to worry about it over the next two levels. Some of the ones around here are at least starting to respawn. Yeah, that took a little bit longer than I would have rather. Oh. Why is there a human here? These things are really low cost right now. So thankfully I can just dump a bunch into them. So get this boar up here. We have three of the ribs and two of the chunks. So we're not doing horrible. Definitely could be doing better. Yeah, I guess why not? Let's try again. <laughs> At this point, it's just become a guessing game of if we're going to get it. Drops are not in our favor right now, are they? I think... Well, we're gonna have to anyways. So let's take a second to rebuff and... Drink up. Maybe something will respawn. We shall see. See, everybody wants a hardcore guild. Why? I know there's people on. Why is nobody sending out invites? And then talking about uh, moving away from the hardcore content, I st I'm possibly going to be still doing some WoW stuff. I don't know for sure. I've been talking to some friends that are getting into uh, Wrath of Lich King Classic. And I'll do ours out right now, and basically they've been kind of trying to convince me to second. Don't want to die. They've kind of been trying to convince me to come level up and get into raiding before ICC comes out. And, I mean, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I might want to, but we'll see. I did a lot of raiding in Wrath, and then I also, before the classic servers became a thing, I did play private servers quite a bit, and I played on a Wrath server and raided, so I wasn't as, or I'm not as thrilled to do it. That's why I haven't played Wrath of the Classic much as is. I raided all through when World of Warcraft Classic first came out. I made a rogue and raided all through vanilla. It was it was fun, um, especially because um, when I played in vanilla, I 
I didn't raid, so I got to actually properly experience it. I mean, maybe not properly, because people weren't struggling as much, because, you know, back then they didn't have as much resources in terms of strategies and guides and being able to just look anything up. So I think it definitely wasn't as hard as everybody remembered, but it's it was still memorable for me, and obviously still st it still took some coordination. But compared to say like the new Dragonflight boss mechanics, it 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 really isn't that hard. This is the hard, I, in my opinion, the hardest part of Classic is just the leveling, and uh, some of the grinding because the way the quests were laid out and. The, the difficulty of the dungeons too, which I've talked about before, and it's not a bad thing either. It's what makes this so fun. The slow pace, trying to take your time, even if you weren't playing a hardcore character, just it, the threat of death is still very, very real, and you don't want it to happen because you got to run back, and you know you're wasting time, and you got to repair, and there's there's always that threat even if you're just fighting one one mob. I see that wolf running. I don't know what path it's taking. Yeah, it's coming this way. So, we're going to go for that bear because it's only level 7. I think we should be safe. I'm hoping. We're just going to pepper it. We are not going to go slow. Okay. That should be enough to melee it. No, it's not. I am not letting that thing get close to me. That was an obscene amount of damage. Okay. Man, these bears do not want to drop fur, do they? One more rib, and then we're done with that, and then we just need some bears to drop some fur. So yeah, like I was saying before, I might do some Wrath content if I end up deciding to do it, but still iffy on it. And there's also, speaking of possible content, I was also thinking about doing Elden Ring. I'm not 100% sold on it, not because I don't like the game, it's just it wasn't that long ago that I played through it. The reason why I thought it would be good to play through it and record it and do a Let's Play is just because the first time I played through it, um, I'm I'm a completionist when I play the game, when I play RPGs in particular, and stuff like that, so I like to do as much as I can in terms of trying to 100% it, and basically, oh sorry, one second, I got caught up reading something, basically, um, uh, I got a text message, I apologize. Basically, you get caught up um, trying to 100% it, and in Dark Souls 3 and other stuff like that, you can do that, and it's not an issue. Uh, you don't get overpowered, really, or any, really. I mean, you can, if you just spent all your day farming non-stop souls and whatever, but in general, I can progress through the game and still do any side things like that, and not be and not break the game for myself. Um, so when I played Elden Ring, I I took my time and I found, well, at first I did as much exploring as I could on my own, but then I got to the point that I knew I was missing things. And so basically what I did was, um, I pulled up a map, I found a map that basically marked all the locations of the bosses. Um, just on the overall map, so I still had to do some searching and digging for it. wasn't completely made easy, but in general, it showed me the location of the bosses, and so I wanted to go through and fight them all. So I th thought it would be, um, I thought it'd be more fun to clear out everything along the way. And I wasn't. I was purposely not over farming, um, whatever the currency is. Um, it's not souls, but I'm just gonna call it, I'm just gonna call it souls. I was purposely not overkilling mobs so that I wouldn't I wouldn't overlevel myself. I was just doing the bosses, and some of them are really hard. I was reading that certain people, well, for certain bosses, people just come back at a later level. But I didn't want to do that, so I would stick stick at a boss until I beat it, no matter what. And by the 
end of the game, I was so horrifically overleveled that I just couldn't be... I, I don't know what that guy's doing. I think he's doing it on purpose because he's not AFK. Uh, but yeah, I couldn't be bothered. So... Um, oh no, I couldn't be bothered. I, I couldn't be bothered. Yeah, actually, no, I couldn't be bothered to check ahead of time because I didn't want to ruin it for myself. Um, but I guess I should have because it turns out that I overleveled myself too much and it was just, it was a joke. I know a lot of people, obviously, you get the odd person that says it was easy, but in general, most people struggled on the last boss. Um, and I, I can't even remember her name because it wasn't, it wasn't difficult. Like some of the moves were difficult and I, I still had to dodge, but in general, I, I think, I think I killed the boss on like my second try, maybe my third try. I had no business doing that it, it, because of how hard I hit. It was insane. I didn't really have to know the mechanics of the fight, and it definitely ruined it for me. So I think what I would do this time around is do try to do the bare minimum and basically just kill area bosses and the few things in between. Maybe the odd side boss if I find myself getting really hard bu far behind because I'm not trying to do. I mean, I'm not a pro by any means, so I. I I don't want to get to the point where it's basically a one-hit playthrough where if I get hit Break once, or, or like a no-health playthrough, so if I get hit once, I'm dead. I feel like that probably wouldn't be very fun. Um, but we handed that first quest in. Um, we got some buff food finally. We're hoping to get now hopefully a fur off of him. But yeah, hope I, I I do think that it would be cool to go back to Elden Ring. I just I gotta make sure I don't kill everything. <laughs> I just gotta do a bit of stuff if I want to on the side to get some levels, but in general, just stick to the main bosses. And then I guess what I should have done in the first place was gone to fight the f the first. I because it was Margaret was the first one you fight. I went to him pretty early on, and I got my ass kicked. And instead of going back after another five levels or so... <coughs> oops, holy, sorry. <laughs> instead of going back after the last... after the next five levels or so, I didn't go back until I had cleared the whole area. So... I think that fight lasted... 30 seconds and from there it was the same thing over and over again I should have known 